good morning. Excuse the look. Just been and dropped me van off the car garage and cycled back. Anyway, so I'm just looking at some of the comments. Saturday morning now, so my video's gone out. Some of the comments from last week's video. I'm not sure what the sun's doing. And um, Mark Wright, Mark Bray, something like that. Sorry about your name if I've got it wrong. Um, Mark something. Um, mentioned about possibly how the fish not getting any light. Um, I don't know, never thought about it to be honest. Um, the covers have been on for four years. Oh, four, this is a fourth winter I think. Uh, I've never seen colour loss on fish or any kind of issues with lack of light or low light. Um, I'm not sure if I'd mention this but it's a it's quite a thick polycarb. It's a five walled one. And the bottom, as you see last week, is white and the top is the bronzy kind of colour, whatever it is. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to stick the GoPro under, just to see how much or how little light there is in it. Um, just a bit of an experiment really. I'm not even sure how I'm going to get it in. Because obviously I want the, the flap shut. So... I might just balance it on the edge somewhere, maybe at this end. Yeah, I'll balance the GoPro under there. Good morning. And I'll shut the lid just to see how much light there is or isn't. Um, as I said, I've never had an issue with there being lack of light and losing colour on fish. Um, so I don't think it's an issue, but just be interesting to see. It's a valid comment and question from Mark, so we'll have a look. It's quite bright today, obviously, you can see the sun, but it is freezing. There's a proper frost this morning, although it's gone now. Although my lake up the end is probably more like an ice rink. That, um, that was coming on a treat this week with all the rain we've had. Oh, it's gone down a bit, but we had, it, we had it right across the garden all the way along here, in front of the garage as well, so it's not frosty yet get out there with our ice skates. Anyway, let me, um, I'll set this to record. I might get my phone and record some of it on my phone so I can simply put it in kind of thing. And then we'll, uh, we'll see how much light there is or isn't in there. Interesting to see. So we'll be back in a minute. I'm going to put this, turn it on. Put it under here. Somehow. So leave it there. Shut you lot in. So that's exactly how I would if it's freezing like today, I'll probably keep it shut. I'll just come out, chuck a bit of food in. And then keep the top shut. Uh, there's no ice on it now. There was a bit because there's some water over the top, over that side. Right. Get it out. It's probably easier if I do it this way. I'm trying to make things hard for myself. We'll see what we got. Leave it there. Put you not in. 
that I'll answer your comment. I've just checked your name. Sorry, Mark Wright. I think that's how you would say it. Um, it's not right. Apologies about that. Just Mark. We'll call you Mark because I'm just digging a big hole there. So that's what it looks like. I haven't seen that yet. I'll only see it on playback, but that's the amount of light that's getting in. Um, but that might not be a true reflection because it is extra bright today and there is some of the pond just that's got some direct sun on. We'll see. A little bit of that thing up in the sky again. Fabulous. I can wear this today because we won last night. I'm sorry to any Canary fans out there. Finally, Watford's first wood of the season. Get in there. Anyway, feeding. With regards to winter feeding, I don't have a plan. I don't have an amount I want to feed. If they're looking for a bit of food, it's quite simply, I'll chuck a bit of food in. Um, and I know that they're looking for a bit of food because I lift the, obviously if I've got the covers on, I lift the covers up and they'll come flying over. Um, obviously the amount I am feeding is way less than what I would have been when the temperatures are warm. Uh, the water temperature this morning was 11 degrees, so absolutely freezing. But they're still looking for a bit of food, so I will trickle some in. Uh, and with regards to what I'm feeding, I think I've mentioned this quite a few times before, but I'm feeding the JPD Shogun, the new food, which is a wheat jam based food. Um, and I'm going to feed this all year round now. I'm not going to. Maybe when I've finally get a heater installed I'll um, possibly up the protein amount within the food but I'm just gonna for now keep it simple one type of food all year round the JPD Shogun stuff um, it is new I've not been using it long I've only had one bag there's not a lot left now but I've only got had one bag of it so far but looks all right the write up on the bags always good which is sort of to try and entice you to buy it and um, yeah, I've been happy with it so far. It doesn't cloud the water, the fish devour it, so it's always good. Um, and if you keep watching this video, at the end, you will there'll be a link to a giveaway for a bag of this JPD stuff given to me by Quinny Coy. So um, don't skip to the end. Finish watching the video, but there will be a, there is a giveaway link at the end of this. So um, get yourself signed up to that free bag of that. It's worth about 60 quid I think. It's not the cheapest food out there. So um, keep an eye out for that. So that's all, that's all I do with regards to winter feeding. Just If they're looking for it, put a bit in. Again, you can always put a bit more in than try and scoop. We well, can scoop some out but it's just a waste. So put a bit in and see how they go. There's still a few odd pellets floating around so I'm not going to chuck any more in. Bed bombs looking alright, there's no sulkage yet even though the water is freezing. And the chags are just constantly always looking for food. I'm sure they'll eat all year round. Even if it's blooming freezing, they'll still be out looking for food. It's just in their nature I think. Right, jobs to do. Probably got to go back to the game to put my van up in a minute. I'll catch you all later. Bye. Um, so that's it for this week. Not a huge amount going on and um, some pretty bad news. As some of you know, my dog who's featured in the videos a few times, uh, unfortunately we had to have him put to sleep yesterday so a bit gutted to say the least. Um, as any of you know we've lost a pet, we've had, we've had him 11 years so he is more than part of the family. Can't remember a time without the dog as you, as you can't. Um, so yeah, not really been thinking about pond stuff at the minute, so sort of a bit of an abrupt end this week to, to this video. Um, anyway, so yeah, thanks for watching. I have got some other stuff coming up over the next couple of weeks that are pre-filmed, so I can't remember whether the dog's in it, but um, as of today, 11th of November, unfortunately, he's no longer here. So if you do see him, it would be... <laughs> from some previous filming that I've done and I can't remember what I filmed so 
once I get all that edited and stuff, I'll, I'll know for sure. But just to make sure I get this out on Saturday, um, just to let everybody know, and that's where we're at. So yeah, thanks for watching, um, and I'll catch you next week. Cheers, bye. Come on, Beth, come on, jump out. Good boy, come on. Come on. Boy, come on, here, Murph, here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Good boy, come on. Sit. Come here. Sit down. <laughs>